Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, both 59, flew separately to Scottish getaway. Ferguson took a flight with British Airways to Aberdeen on Thursday. Prince Andrew took a private jet to Scotland along with five dogs on Tuesday. Princesses Beatrice, 31, and Eugenie, 29, are understood to be later joining them. The Duchess of York has joined Prince Andrew in Balmoral amid growing rumors the royal couple are rekindling their romance. Divorced Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, both 59, flew separately to the Scottish summer getaway in a bid to avoid further reports of their romance. Ferguson took a commercial flight on Thursday, while Prince Andrew arrived in a private jet on Tuesday. The Duchess's flight with British Airways to Aberdeen was delayed by four and a half hours. Princesses Beatrice, 31, and Eugenie, 29, their daughters, are understood to be joining them. A royal source told The Sun, Prince Andrew and Sarah are at Balmoral as guests of the Queen and are expected to be there for a number of days. They will be joined by their daughters for some of the holiday. It's not the first time they've been there as a couple in recent years but it's significant because of all the rumors about them getting back together. The Queen wanted them there as a family and it's very much her giving the private nod of approval. It comes after rumors circulated that the pair had rekindled their love in April. But Ferguson was quick to douse the flame, despite the pair appearing virtually inseparable on a family getaway with Beatrice and her boyfriend. The family gathering saw the Duke and Duchess of York holidaying with Princess Beatrice, 30, and her boyfriend property developer Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi in Bahrain where they stayed at the Ritz Carlton and had a VIP day at the Grand Prix, fueling rumors that the royal couple have rekindled their romance. The Duchess joined her former husband at the end of a series of official engagements in Bahrain and the pair were put up by the Crown Prince at the Pound 900A Night Ritz Carlton Hotel. Sources at the time said the trip was a sign of the Duke and Duchess's ever-growing closeness, which saw her included in her first official royal family photo in decades when their other daughter Eugenie got married late last year. A royal source told the Daily Mail's Rebecca English that Beatrice and her new beau were not the only couple on the trip, saying, Andrew and Sarah are virtually inseparable nowadays. They have always been the most happily divorced couple anyone has ever known, but there seems something more to the relationship nowadays. The smart money is on them getting married again after the Duke of Edinburgh passes away. Philip has never forgiven Sarah for her past indiscretions, but the Queen has always just wanted her son to be happy. The couple have virtually lived together almost as man and wife for many years but royal insiders insist his father Prince Philip is the reason they have not declared they are back in a relationship. But a spokesman for Ferguson denied the claim saying the Duke and Duchess of York continue to be good friends and nothing has changed in their relationship. The couple amicably divorced in 1996 following 10 years of marriage after the Duchess was photographed having her feet kissed by her financial advisor, John Bryan, in the south of France. But the pair have remained extremely close, sharing Andrew's official residence, Royal Lodge at Windsor, and buying a luxury ski chalet in Verveer. The Duke and Duchess are reportedly not seeing other people and royal staff were said to have dubbed their relationship as friends with benefits at the end of April. In a further positive step, Prince Philip, 98, is understood to have dropped his animosity towards the romance. Yet the Prince of Wales, 70, is believed to still have doubts over the pairing and does not want Ferguson to become a royal again. In an interview with the Daily Mail earlier this year, Sarah said of her former husband, we're the happiest divorced couple in the world. We're divorced to each other, not from each other. A Buckingham Palace spokesman confirmed Prince Andrew had paid for his private jet, but would not comment on who else attended.